Right guys, so welcome to part 3 of making this uh, Wolfenstein New Order Assault Rifle in Plasticity. So just beveling these edges here, um, continuing kind of here on this uh, trigger area that we were working on. And then I'm going to right click to confirm that. And I'm going to bevel these as well just to get a little bit of a nicer kind of look here. Something like this. Let's see. That's looking okay. It is looking a bit thin. I don't know if I can. Uh, maybe. Grab these three and then pull those down. It's gonna mess it up here. Maybe this one as well, and this one. Let's see. Maybe I'll leave it like that for now. All right. So let's see what we're gonna tackle next. I might do this back part here that slots into that piece. Yeah. So to do that, I'm just going to select this face. I'm going to press Shift D, which should uh, make it into its own sheet. Then I can just uh, hide this part, select it, and then just pull. Oops, press E to go into extrude, and then just extrude that out. Let me unhide that one so we can see it. That's good. And then I can just pull this out. all about here yeah here right click to confirm that I'm gonna press O to go into uh, offset mode I'm gonna offset a little bit like so Com right click to confirm that then I'll extrude it a little bit that's looking good and then I will extrude it again, so let me just press E maybe leave it like this for now I'll actually bevel these edges just ever so slightly well, that's that part done next I can work on let's see I'm gonna start this front part and can have a look at how this works here so we added this cut here which is not long so let's see I'm gonna make this top part here so to do that I can simply just use my free point free point arch and I'll click this edge then this edge and then so free point arch select this edge this edge let me go to the front view actually I'll do it on this side I'll do it in this view three point arch this edge this edge and then I could pull that up a little bit like so that's good then I can press shift D and just move it to the side uh, if I select these two, I can press L to loft, so we'll kind of like bridge them together. Now if I go into face mode, I can click on this face, and I, pr I think if I press E and then do shift 
see. Oh no, I can just actually pull that up like that. It's fine. So maybe not. What I'll do instead is I'll select the sheet itself, duplicate it, and then press S, scale it out a tiny bit, and then up. And then press G and move it up until it kind of matches. And then I'll press uh, move these two to the side move them to the side I go into edge mode here and I select all of these edges I just select all of these edges and shift D I can actually get the kind of like outline of it and then I can just start kind of bridging these or lofting these edges together press L to go into loft mode and I'll loft it like so, then I can loft so L, right click to confirm that, and then I can loft or can I, and then I can select this face and just extrude it this face and extrude that E extrude it E maybe I have to go backwards actually I'll go I'll just delete all of this first go into edge mode delete doesn't let me delete it. I'll grab this face and then press Shift D to move it to the side. So Shift D, move it. Then I can select this entire object here and just delete it. And then delete this one that I duplicated by accident. And then I'm left with that. That's kind of that's my work there. I'm gonna delete these two. Go into edge mode, delete these two. Go to object mode, select this little part, move it in. Then I have to see where it's gonna start. So it starts here. So we'll start about about here. And I can select the face, press E to go to extrude mode, and extrude that down. And it goes down quite a bit, so something like that. Let me just look at that from a bit of a distance. So it actually goes like that, maybe. Yeah, that looks alright. And then I can grab these two faces here. And I can just continue them down a tiny bit. And then I can add some bolts here to look make it look like it's been bolted in. That looks good. I'll do this area here next. So what I can do for that area is I'll just go into my front view here. I'll click on corner rectangle and I'll start it from here to about here. Like so. Right click to confirm that. Then I'll select that face and extrude that outwards. like so, then I'll press G and move it in until it's like overlapping the area here. And then I'll press 
Alt X to go into mirror mode, tap to mirror it to the other side, right click to confirm it. Go to body mode, select this body, press Q to go into boolean mode, select these two. I don't want to boolean them out, I actually want them to intersect, so I'm going to press Shift E. You can see the shortcuts all here. Actually, I do not want to do I want that? Oh, no I don't. So, select this body. Q, select these two. Uh, so I want the slice, sorry, so shift Q. Yeah, and now I can delete these two parts. And that will leave us with this outline here that we'll be able to utilize for that specific area. I'm going to edge mode, select these two edges, press G and just move, move them up, or can I? I'll be fine anyway, I'll leave it as it is. So in face mode, I'll select these three faces. And these three faces. I'll press E to go into extrude mode. Okay, so you can't... That could be a... You can't just extrude them like that, but now if I... No. I'm going to have to do it manually on each side. Alright, something like that. Then on the other side I can select those and just... Again, it would be cool if I could manually kind of... Or if I could uh, use symmetry within the program, but I don't think it has any symmetry. Um, which is still being features are being added to it, so I'm sure it probably be, will come down the line. I'm just going to select these corner edges here. Like so, and then I'll just give them a small little That's being a bit weird. Mm. Yeah, I'll select all of these edges here and then I'll give them a small bevel. We won't worry about the corner for now. So here, here, here. Here. And here. Something like that. That's looking looking good. So this face I'm just going to move it forward a little bit. And then I'll move this one forward a little bit. Then I'm going to create this cutout here. Um, so, to do that, I'm just going to create a do my line tool here, and I'll say plane from camera. And then I'll grab my line tool. And I'll just say I want it from here to here actually I'll do it above I think because it might, might be easier to see so here to here then down to here then straight down and then straight to the side straight up and straight the close it and then can I go into my points here and just move them again uh, not sure if there's a better way of approaching that to kind of make it exactly the same on one side or the other I could do it like in the center of the world and then mirror it um, 
but that will be fine. And fierce mode, I can extrude that outwards. Like so. I'll press G and I'm going to move it into place. So it cuts out but leaves a little bit of the... So there is uh, this part here that I haven't done yet, which I'll do in a second. Yeah, leave this to the side, ready for it later. Right click, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into my edge mode, and just delete this one. I'll go to uh, my three point arch and I'll go into my side view here, right view. And I'll click, I'll click here and here, and then I'll pull that out like so, which will create that little place there. Then I'm gonna move it to the side. I'm gonna go into line mode to close this. Like so, right click to confirm that. Then I'll go into face mode, extrude that a little bit. Right click. And then I'll click on this face and press E and extrude that out. There we go. So I can position this. So it'll be roughly a little bit after that. And then here's a bit of a tricky part. Well, actually, there's quite a lot of tricky parts. Might not do exactly as we have in the reference, but it'll be all right. So I'll grab this face here, and I'm just going to pull that out. And then I'll use my box cutter to kind of cut that shape in. Alright, so I got that done. Just gonna move that a little bit forward. Then I can go into object mode, select this one, press G, move it down. Oh, move the whole program down. Oh, that was a bit strange. There we go. Move that down. position it yeah so it kind of blends in from this to this and uh, I mean I could beforehand I might just I'll right click to confirm that there and then I'll um, yeah it's a bit tricky but I'll uh, grab this one and then this one Actually, I'll mirror this first, so I'm going to press Alt X to go into mirror mode, mirror over to the other side, right click to confirm that, and select this one and this one and this one and Q Q to keep them together, bullying them together, and then this S to scale it. something like this, place that, skew that up a little bit, place that there, and Alt X to mirror it, mirror it to the other side, right click to confirm, select the body, and then unselect this part and press Q, actually no, I'll select that part later, press Q, select these two and right click to confirm but kind of removed it I'm gonna have to boolean these two together so Q Q to join them and maybe it didn't work because it's part of it's not actually intersecting maybe yeah there's two separate 
So I'm going to press S and just going to scale it in a little bit so until they're intersecting. Like that. I click and then I'll select this. Select this. Press Q. Select Shift. Select that. Pre then press Q again to do Union Boolean. And now they're one model, yeah. Then I can press Q and select these two. Right click to confirm. To create this kind of gap here, which I'm not too. It looks quite interesting, but. That'll do. Alright, so next I can go to edge mode and I can select these two edges here. And just boolean, uh, give them a little fillet. Something like that. Don't know what's going on with this specific part here. There's a hole being created by something. I'm gonna have to figure out how I can fill holes. Um, it's on every side here. Can I grab that and delete that face? No. So it's part of that face there. Is there a close hole? There is not. Patch hole. Along edges or create patch curves. So let's see, like if I select all these and then. That did not work. Yeah, so I'll have to look into that. <laughs> And the uh, still get kind of getting used to this plasticity kind of workflow, but the uh, yeah, you can make some really cool stuff with it. All right, so next there is this entire piece here. So I need to create a cut that goes from here to the, that side. Let me just get rid of this. And to do that. I think I can just click to create a line. Then I'll just I'll just go to um to about halfway. And then over to the other side, and then up to the top, to this point. Let me just have a think about how I could potentially do this. So I'll go into face mode and I'm just going to extrude that out. So this will be this part. Then I can go into this front view to kind of see what's happening with it. So I think this is, it, it, although they are the same guns, they are quite different from each other. So like, it's a bit hard to see what's happening. There's so much happening here, but I need to have some kind of better reference. So I'll just kind of eyeball a lot of it. Well, hopefully you still get a cool result. I'll leave that like that for now. It's starting to come together. Alright, let's make that stock here. So, that will be here at the bottom. So, I'll go into bottom view, and I'll go into my corner rectangle and I'll start from here and I'll go to about here right click to confirm that and then I'll select that face and then I'll just pull that down like so then I can offset this a little bit right click to confirm that 
then extrude that on. And go into edge mode and select these edges. Give them a small little bevel like that. I'm gonna create that little curve cut out here so I can go to my front view. And I can think there is a insert edge or edge. Let's see. No. Split curve edge at point so I can see what that does. Oh, that kind of just split it so we'll have an extra edge. Mm. I'm going to have to figure out how I do that as well. So I'm going to use the three point arc here and I'm just going to click, click and then just pull out something like that. Press S and I'm just going to scale that down. Press G, kind of center that a little bit. I can close that point. Right click, confirm that. Select this face. I'm going to pull that out. Right click to confirm that. And then select that face. And I can pull that. Oh. Um, not pull, sorry, extrude. All the way up. Like so. It's good. That looks almost lined up. Like that. Let me just delete these curves. Object mode, Alt X to mirror that over to the other side. And I'm Actually, before I mirror it, I'm just going to push it in. Scale it up a little bit, like that. Then select this one, or select this, Alt-X. Then select this, and press Q, select these two, right click. Now we got that there, nice. I'm going to go into edge mode and I'm just going to select these edges. Give them a very small bevel there. Then these. That's looking good. Let's see. What other details are we missing? Um, so this this went quite wrong here. Uh, let's. Let's do this part here. It's quite a interesting part, but it's going to be quite tricky to do. But we'll, we'll we'll work it out. So how can I? So if I create an arch, yeah. So let's see. If I create a arch from the front here. So three point arch, and I'll just do it from. Doesn't really matter because I'll move into position after. But I'll just say here to here, and create like like that. Just G. I'm just gonna move that forward a little bit to about there. Press S, I'm going to scale up. Uh, I'm going to move it to here. And I can go into my line tool and connect these two points. I'll 
object something is on but it's not being to that specific thing so let me just grab this press G just move it out for now edge mode now grab that and that right click to confirm that then face mode grab this face pull that out right click to confirm that delete these two edges then I think if I do another three point arch that's like this I need to be in the in the front view so from top bottom like that and then I do something like that to close it oh that one point here didn't actually go in let me just do it from here Alright, I'm going to leave it like that for this video and then we'll continue it in the next one and we'll see see how we can do that specific part. But yeah, thanks guys.